Hi everyone, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to do a roundup of everything that I liked in 2015. Um, so this video is going to be super duper long because I have a lot of products and it's a mix of skincare and makeup. So I think I'm going to start with makeup first. So I'm not going to give like an in-depth review of everything and I'm just going to quickly go over all of the stuff just because I don't want this video to be like super duper long. First up are these Savannah Colors Shimmer Bricks and this is in the shade number 1 and number 03. I use them so 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 much this uh, past year ever since I bought this and I still have a lot left um, I especially love this palette more than this one I've used this one a lot just because it's got that bronzy color in it and it's got this light shimmery shade it's perfect to highlight and even use that onto uh, the hollows of your cheeks and I think it gave like an amazing glow on my skin and this one was also really really nice uh, and and it gave like a really um, nice uh, peachy and pinky sheen onto my face and I absolutely loved these two products these were super duper cheap and I think they were amazing for eyeshadow I really enjoyed using these two palettes uh, the first one is Maybelline's the nude palette I have used this so so much like I think in almost every tutorial of mine I have shown this palette the only downside to this palette is that they don't have uh, like a mirror on it and I think that would have been really nice other than that they have like a really nice vast array of colors like nude ones to go from and um, I've used this to fill my eyebrows and I've used this to uh, shade my eyes in almost every tutorial and it's just perfect to carry this around if you're traveling and I also really really like the Stella Masterpiece palette especially this one this is the nude one and it has some pretty amazing nude colors paired with the blush so again this one was perfect to travel with and as an everyday eyeshadow uh, for every day next i really really enjoyed using the pro arte brushes uh, this has been a discovery this year and these are amazing professional quality brushes for such a like and they're not super duper expensive they don't shed uh, they work amazingly and I really really liked using these brushes as you might have noticed I've used these brushes in almost all of my uh, tutorials and I also really enjoyed using my beauty blender I think I'm going to buy an original one uh, just because I've seen what the dupe can do and uh, it's just amazing I think I don't use my foundation brush as much as I used to ever since I started using my beauty blender I also really enjoyed using these two primers this is the benefit professional and this is the Miss Claire uh, professional makeup primer in the shade beige and I think both of them worked really nice this one obviously um, is much lighter in texture and it made my and it holds your makeup much longer and it does not slip from your face as easily as this one but this one again is a really nice uh, one if you're looking for something which is pretty cheap and does the work really well um, I've used this a lot especially for like everyday wear on my eyelids and sometimes even on my lips and it works really well especially if I'm in office and stuff like that this one's really nice oh my god this has been my favorite discovery for this year uh, this is the Mistine 3d eyebrow set and oh my god this is my holy grail eyebrow product now watch my Delhi haul video if you guys want to know more about this and I'll leave the uh, tutorial in which I've used this in the description down below so make sure you check that out but this is amazing definitely buying more of these if i'm going to delhi uh, once again and i'll try to find this online i couldn't find this online uh but yeah this is amazing then for mascara i really really liked the benefits roller lash mascara oh my god <laughs> so so good this is I think another one of my holy grail products oh my god this is so good you don't need an eyelash curler if you're using this uh, it separates your lashes really well gives them a really nice length pushes them upwards and gives a really nice volume makes you look like you're wearing falsies I've got so many compliments whenever I've worn this mascara and I really 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 like this for lipstick I think the Miss Claire lipsticks were one of my best discoveries this year 
and even the matte me lipsticks from in color uh, were amazing i'll link both the videos down below and other than that i have like three favorite lipsticks uh, the first one has to be from uh, color bar this is hot latte and this color is so 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 good i think all of you if you guys have to like just buy one lipstick this month you guys have to buy this one um, I'm not really sure if it looked uh, nice on really a darker skin tone if you guys but if you guys are closer to my skin tone uh, or a little bit duskier than me I think this color is absolutely gorgeous it's it's beautiful you would love the shade and I also really really liked mad about mauve from Revlon this is what it looks like and the last lipstick that I really wore a lot um, is from Maybelline. This is called Crazy for Coffee. I used uh, both this lipstick in my Kylie Jenner lips video. So I'm going to link that down as well so that you guys can see these two lipsticks in action. Last but not the least for makeup, I have two foundations. Uh, first is MAC Studio Fix uh, Foundation. I'm in the shade NC42 and this is just a fabulous foundation it glides on super easily gives a beautiful coverage it's super buildable it looks really natural and you just need to set it with powder if you have really oily skin or else it can slip away from your face but other than that i think this foundation is just one of my favorite purchases this year i've been using this non-stop ever since i bought this and whenever i need like a full coverage and this is another one of my like go-to foundation this year this is the chanel vital lumiere aqua and oh my god this foundation is everything that everyone talks about the hype is real oh it's so good perfect for every single day perfect for those days when you want just a little bit of coverage perfect for those days you when you want like a little dewy finish on your skin and you want to look like really refreshed and nice um perfect for every day to go to work um it's just a really nice foundation and i'm in the shade 40 beige that's all for makeup moving on to skincare now so this year i've been using a lot of dry shampoo and it's one of the best things that has ever happened uh, to my hair. Uh, I have two favorites. Uh, one is the Dove one uh, and the other one is the Be Blunt Back to Life Dry Shampoo. It's amazing. You guys should most definitely buy this. Uh, it's amazing. I think I'm going to spray some on my hair like right now. The other two things that my hair has been loving is uh, this shampoo from L'Oreal. This is their Vitamino Color AOX and this is from their Export range. I've been using this after I've got my hair colored and this shampoo is the best thing ever. If you have colored hair, it makes your hair really, really soft, cleanses it and makes it look very radiant and shiny and it does not really let the color fade away easily and quickly and I really like how it leaves my hair feeling very soft and smooth after I wash it much like how a conditioner would make you feel and then for conditioner i have been really liking the brazilian keratin therapy conditioner um this is from the brand called ogx and it's almost over i've like scooped every last bit out of it and nothing comes out anymore uh, but this is a super thick really yummy uh, smelling uh, conditioner coats in your hair really nicely a little thick just the way I like it, a little dense and uh, but fortunately does not make your hair feel heavy or anything and it has really helped um, my hair lock in that moisture, something that it really really needs and then I have also really really liked using uh, the macadamia oil no tangle cream i use this on damp hair and um, it really helps in like unlocking the tangles that i might have when my hair is damp and it really helps in reducing the amount of damage and breakage that my hair will suffer when it's wet this is one of the best things ever i'm definitely repurchasing this one obviously a huge shout out to my skincare uh, staples this is the la roche posay faclar uh, 
cream this is the Faclar duo plus and this is their face wash the Faclar face wash I have completely used this up it's empty nothing comes out anymore I really 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 liked using this these two are my skincare basics I use this every single day and night to wash my face and apply this on my cleansed face in the morning like for the past three months I have actually added Cetaphil onto my routine when I was noticing that my face was getting rather dry and feeling a little dehydrated so on top of the Faclar duo I was applying the Cetaphil uh, moisturizing lotion and this is just amazing I absolutely love this I even got and bought the Cetaphil cleanser and I use that on my legs before I shave and I'm going to talk about that in another video but this is amazing I use this on my face every morning after I use the duo plus and in the evening these two things have like changed my skin forever these two are both uh, facial oils and oils are something that has like really drastically changed my skincare and my skin uh, this is the body shop oils of life and this is the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate both of these are awesome i have made videos on both of these so you guys can check them out the next thing is another oil this is the shower oil from um L'Occitan, and this is their almond oil shower gel and this again has really changed my really dry legs and body i love taking a shower with this the smell is really calming and i really really enjoy taking baths with this one and last but not the least uh another thing that has changed uh, the way i use my uh, face mask is this one from Ananda in the Himalayas and this is their aloe gel and rose distillate hydrating mask this is the year that I've actually given back to my skin instead of just stripping it up as much as I used to and this is a really nice hydrating mask um, which it feels amazing on your skin and yeah I think that's all that I have yep that's all that I have these were my favorite uh, skincare and makeup products for 2015 these are the products that I've been reaching out to uh, every single day uh, last year uh, let me know what were your favorites and let me know what was the favorite or the one thing that you bought because of me and something that has really worked out for you I would love to know that so that's all for this video i wish you guys a very very happy new year and a fantastic year ahead so that's all for this video i'll see you in my next one bye